Hey folks, Daily Alliance blog for December the 19th, 2018. December the 19th. Hmm. When, when's Christmas this year? Ha ha ha! That's a Jewish joke because everybody always says, so when's Hanukkah this year or whatever? Actually, it's a valid question because it varies all the time. But uh, December the 19th means that we're inside a week to Christmas and we're a couple of weeks away from New Year's. So my question for you, Casey, is are we in the holiday season now? Yeah. So I think that... This is the, the time when I, I should start to talk about the holiday season. I should start to um, give you sort of my view on the holiday season because I know for a lot of people it's a really, really tough time. And it's a really tough time because I think we, um, if you have nobody to gather with during the holiday season, uh, then obviously you feel isolated and you feel like, well, everybody else is having such a great time and I'm the only one that's by themselves, for instance. And that, I, I can imagine, would be uh, incredibly painful. I will say to you that um, it's not the number of people that are around us, but it's the number of people that understand us. I've used that phrase before and I like to say it again. You know why I like to say it again? Because it's fucking awesome, man. It's just It just flows off my lips. Brilliant. You ready? Yeah. It's not about the number of people around us. It's the number of people that understand us. And what I want you to know is there's at least one person that understands you. So as you go through the holiday season, there's one person that is there with you. And that person, of course, would be me. And I'm here to make you feel like you're understood. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not fooling myself into, well, I'm giving you the kind of companionship that you would want. Uh, I'm saying that you are understood. And let me prove to you that you're understood because um, this is the real power. You're understood and here's the proof. I get that the fact that as you go through the holiday season, you feel isolated. I understand that. But I feel that what you really need to know is that I get the idea of being unable to experience joy. I understand that. I go through that as well. And that is the most impactful thing that depression, anxiety have on us, is the loss of the ability to experience joy. Um, that was me yesterday. I had a really, really tough day. And at that moment, I thought to myself, wow, you know, I'm not good at anything. I thought to myself, this whole mental health thing has been a waste of time because do I really actually do any good for anyone? There was this mountain of negativity that was falling on me. And I actually... Um, figuratively speaking, I put my hands up and I said, you know what? I'm not going to listen to this. And I blocked it out. That doesn't mean that it disappeared. It means that I didn't let it impact me the same way that I would in the past. And that's what I can teach you. I can teach you how to better deal with those feelings and how to push them at least a little bit aside. And that's what I'm going to be doing over the next week or so. Because the holiday season is really tough. Although... Um, maybe it's just like an extended weekend because on Friday we all know the, uh, oh, hey, it's uh, it's Friday. Well, no one can be depressed on the weekend. Sicknoweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We are here because why? Case? It's not the number of people who are around us. It's the number of people who understand us for little sayings just like that. It's fucking awesome, man. You're cutting me off. Did you have an answer? I did. I don't I think you did. my answer. Was it? Okay, let's do it again then. No. No, let's do it You've again. You've lost no. your chance. Uh, We're cutting. Okay, Case, why are we here? We're cutting.